We're going to talk about um, the relationship circle, learning about the important people in somebody's life because what's important to someone will always include people, family, friends, neighbours, colleagues. We can learn about and record the important people in someone's life by having conversations and using the person-centred thinking tool called the relationship circle. This is the start of thinking about ways to deepen or create opportunities for relationships. And a relationship circle is particularly useful for exploring who a person knows, how they know them, who knows them, how those networks can help the person find opportunities and support to live the life they want, and who gets on best with the person and what this means for getting the best staff or volunteer match. This is Olive. Olive supported by the home care service within um, a, an extra care housing scheme. Olive's son, Brian, found himself thinking that it was really important for his mum to stay connected with family and friends, and also that staff supporting her were able to chat with her about the people in her life, given that Olive had always been such a people person. So he completed a relationship circle and the Admiral nurse who was supporting Olive also helped out with that. And that identified all the people in Olive's life and the range of different relationships that she had with others. Brian or some felt that understanding the network of Olive's relationships would help family and friends to continue to be involved in her life by ensuring that those providing support were aware of and facilitated these relationships to thrive. This seemed especially important given that um, Olive's dementia was, was progressing and it also gave a much fuller picture of her life as conversations about the many people that Olive knew helped to paint the picture of who she was and what her life had been like prior to the onset of her dementia.